Hello everybody and welcome back to X-Plane 11 and today I'm checking out SimBrief Helper. It's a cool little add-on here or plug-in for X-Plane 11 and what it does is it summarizes the main information from your SimBrief flight plan and puts it in this nice little window here to make it really easy to transfer the information into your FMC. Now if you are flying airliner flights you probably are using SimBrief, it's a, a cool website to uh, help you flight plan, if you're not I highly recommend using it. So what I'm going to do today is just quickly show you how to download the program, it's very simple, then how to uh, set this up so it then automatically pulls the information across uh, into SimBrief Helper and then just show a quick demonstration on how easy it is to then transfer the information into your FMC. So what we'll do first is I'll quickly show you how to install SimBrief Helper into X-Plane 11. Okay, installing it is really, really easy. All you need to do is obviously go to the X-Plane download site and search for SimBrief Helper. That's the best way to find it. And then uh, download it and extract the file here to your desktop. And yes, before you ask, for the Alliance, all day long, there we go. But here goes my SimBrief Helper. I've opened up the folder and you've got two folders in here you've got your modules and your scripts now you can probably actually go ahead if here goes my main xplane 11 directory by the way so if you go into resources and plugins um i've already done this um now one little point you need to have fly with lua fly with lua so you've got to go ahead and download that first now that's going to come in handy for a bunch of different plugins but go and download that first if you haven't got it and get it into your plugins folder but once you've got that in there, what you can actually do is just extract the SimBrief Helper, if you want to, straight into the uh, Fly with Lua folder, and it will put the modules and the scripts into the correct folders. But if you want to do it the long way, you can extract your SimBrief Helper right here, uh, open up the modules, cut and paste that into the modules folder, and your scripts, cut and paste those into your scripts folder. And it is as easy as that. And so when you go into X-Plane itself, using the drop downs, you'll be able to find that under the Fly with Lua modules. Okay, now that you've installed SimBrief Helper, you need to go ahead and set up your flight plan in SimBrief. So let's quickly go and do that right now. Okay, here we are in simbrief.com and you just go ahead and you can create a free account if you don't already use this. And it's really easy to use actually. You just throw in the uh, details of your flight. I'm just making stuff up here, Jetstar 105. Let's say we're going to go from Auckland NZAA to Wellington NZWN. It just thinks about things. You can leave the other stuff uh, as it is. I'll select the Airbus A319. Over here I've got KG as my default units by the way, so it matches uh, the tallest version. And it's as simple as that, then you just go generate flight plan. Yes, it's going to take a few seconds, so I'll join you in a second. Okay, it's done. That actually didn't take too long. Uh, and here goes the uh, summary of your flight plan. It gives you a map right there, uh, which, and then this is probably your alternate, I would say. And then here goes your actual OFP right here. And as you can see, you've probably seen these before, but they are quite involved. There's a lot of information in them, but once you know what you're looking for, um, it's pretty easy to uh, go ahead and uh, find it. But this is the beauty of the SimBrief Helper. It summarizes the information in this and puts it in the pop-up window. Let's get right back in the cockpit right now. Okay, with uh, your SimBrief flight plan all set up, all you need to do is go up to your plugins, go to Fly with Lua, go to Fly with Lua Macros, and click on SimBrief Helper. Now, I've already uh, already tested this out just to make sure it's going to work, which it does, but all you need to do is put your username right up in here, uh, your SimBrief username, and then press Fetch Data, and it will populate all this information right down here so as you can see we've got the uh the route in there so it makes it nice and easy to enter that in uh your cruise altitude your block fuel uh your your um zero fuel uh, rate right there weight i should say and cost index all that little stuff that you've got to pull out of your sim brief uh, plan to enter into your fmc so let's go ahead pull up our fmc and let's start to put just some of this information in so you can see how it works Okay, here we are with our FMC up, and let's go ahead and put in some of the details. NZAA to NZWN, uh, bang it in there. Flight number is JST105. 
and we throw it in there. Now here's the uh, handy little thing, rather than having to look in over to your page and try to find it, you've got your cost index right here, Cont cost index of 8. There we go, and our flight level is going to be uh, 36,000 feet, so 360, let's just put that in, and the temperature will automatically populate right there. So as you can see, really, really easy. And it's the same deal when you go to, like for example, if you go to put your uh, flight plan information in. So let's just quickly do that. But you can see how easy this works. So let's go to NZAA. Uh, we'll put our departure in and it's sitting right there. Actually, it's direct. There's no departure. So we'll go out here. Um, let's go back to our flight plan. Where are we? Flight plan. Uh, let's, what's the arrival? The arrival is to Papa 3 Alpha, so let's just do that as an example. Arrival, uh, it's runway 34, it's information's right beside me. 34 to Papa 3 Alpha with the T Papa transition. Uh, actually, it doesn't appear there is any transition there. Okay, that's fine. Luckily, I know what I'm doing, eh? But you go there, then return, boom, let's insert it in, and there we go, we've got our uh, arrival in there. So as you obviously go through all the different parts of the um, of the FMC programming, it's really easy, it's all summarized over here. So for example, if you're flying the TOLUS, you're going to bring up your IC, uh, ISCS, I should say, and of course you've got to put your aircraft configuration in, you've got to get your zero fuel rate correct, so you've got, to, uh, you've got your amount right here, so you can just marry that up in your zero fuel weight uh, calculation right here. So adjust your block fuel. Uh, what do we got here? We've got 5928. So make that 6,000 say. And you can just you grab the details you need right here and it's sitting on the same screen that you're entering your data in and it makes it nice and nice and easy. So as you can see, a very simple demonstration right there but a, I find it a quite a handy program actually. It's got all the information I need, fire it into my FMC, into my uh, my TSCS if you're flying the TOLUS and away you go. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy the video, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, everybody, take it easy.